And 27 investigates follow up now. Two sons killed in just a matter of months. The family was turned down by the state victims crime fund and couldn't afford a burial. Well, Reverend Lou Macklin stepped in and found a private donor to help out. 27 First News investigative reporter Amanda Smith is live on the South Side. I first introduced you to Carrie Weaver back in November. That's when I shared with you the story of the tragic loss suffered by her family. Two of her sons, two of their brothers, were murdered just months apart. The state victims of crime fund denied most of her claim, giving her only $150 for the burial of both of her sons. That meant that she couldn't afford urns. That's when Reverend Lou Macklin stepped in. Reverend Macklin, what brings us here today? Well, first of all, Amanda, I thank you for your report that brought to, uh, to light the issue that uh, the Weaver family did not necessarily have an opportunity to provide uh, full closure to the loss of the two sons that were passed. And what were you able to arrange? I was able to uh, contact some resources in our community and was able to get a companion urn uh, donated so that the two brothers would be able to uh, be, in, be together and, uh, and memorialize in such a way that the family will not only have closure but also have peace. Ms. Weaver, with your permission, I'd like to show everyone your son's resting place now. Now, everyone, I want to show you, this is what Reverend Macklin was able to arrange for the family. And before, this is what her boys were being kept in. In the first part of my investigation, I realized that in our city, in Youngstown, in Mahoning County, Columbiana, and Trumbull counties, black applicants to the Victim of Crime Fund are more than twice as likely to be denied than white applicants to that, fund, for that same fund. Reverend, when you learned that information, what did you think? What has to be done with this program? Well, I think the disparities that you brought out were certainly alarming. I think uh, without even knowing the justification, I think it's going to be hard to rationalize that. But there needs to be something done to address those, in those inequities that exist within the system. Again, families of, of any race, gender, creed, whatever the identifying situations are, when they come to get relief and remedy because of they've already experienced uh, violent crime or situations that have lost as a result of violence, they should not be victimized again by the state who's also trying to give them relief. Now, my initial story, I looked at just Mahoning, Trumbull, and Columbiana counties. I asked the state for information for the entire state. They denied my request for information, but I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm going to keep working on this story, and I'll bring you the results on WKBN, WKBN.com. In Youngstown, I'm Amanda Smith, 27 Investigates.